All right, well, today we're going to talk a little bit about Los Combas. These are the guys, that, the last leaders from the North Valley cartel, the last cartel that had dealings with um, Chupeta. Chupeta was the guy that um, testified against El Chapo, you know, he used to be the leader in it, you know, and Beatriz uh, and Al also, that used to work for them. She, she used to have the international routes for them and all that. Got a couple right. stories about them, okay? Okay. You know? So um, how do we start it? You just talking. Tell me what you know. Okay. All right. Talk, talk about Luis Enrique. All right. Los, los, they're, they're three brothers: Juan Carlos, Luis Enrique, and Javier. They're called Los Combas. They came out of the lines of uh, Varela, alias uh, Jabón and English Soap. Okay. Okay. And these are these guys were the leaders from the North Valley Cartel, and Los what's, Combas were, were what's actually. Los, what's that mean, Los Combas? Los combas is short for combatientes, which means oh, combat. Combat. All right. Right? That's that's what they used to call themselves. These guys were the bodyguards for 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 Varela. Right? And then when Varela got into the war that everybody started looking for him, he went to hide in Venezuela. Now tell them who he, Varela is. Varela Varela was the one the leader of the North Valley uh cartel when they okay. killed right. um um Orlando and Al which was the creator of the North Valley cartel that went to war with the Cali cartel. Okay. That's when the groups got divided. Okay. And Chupeta came to one side, which Chupeta is the one that uh, testified against the Chapo. Right. He came, they, these, all these guys come along this line. These, these were the last, the last uh, main, main guys from the North Valley cartel. I don't know if you remember that I told you that I had some friends that, are, that did the same thing that this guy is doing Otoniel, that he turned, they turned themselves in, but they, they gave in their whole crew. You know what I'm saying? These guys did the same thing. They gave up all their routes. They gave up their lieutenants. They gave up their captains. They gave up everybody. And they turned themselves in. One, Juan Carlos got caught in, in Quito, Ecuador. They did a Sammy the Bull over there? Some shit like that, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Juan Carlos got caught in Quito, Ecuador. Right? right, Luis Enrique turned himself in in Panama, okay, and Javier turned himself in here. They all went to the states, okay. Okay, they 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 did all they all did five years, and they're not back over here. So they did five years and they didn't get deported. No, they're in the states. They're in what do you call what do you call that thing? The, Wit witness protection. Yeah, there you go. They're all in hey, that. I thought. I thought. I'm not 100%. I thought witness protection was only for Americans, unless no, I would imagine no, they bend the rules. No, 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 no. Well, then how come the Colombians aren't snitching on people and, and going into witness protection? Well, there, there's a, trust me, there's a lot of Colombians over in the witness protection. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that they, they get some other special types of treatments also, that it's not like the Americans go to witness protection. They get, they got to go where the government sends them. Right. Americans, right? Right, right. Well, they're, 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 they they got Colombia's got a little leeway because they're dangerous, really, over here, supposedly. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of them in Miami. There's a lot in Miami. Oh. And they. So they, they don't have to go to Arizona. No, 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 no. Unless, unless it's something like totally, totally, totally that, you know. Oh, so basically, I, I see what's going. Okay, I understand now. If you're in the states, they got to put you in a certain spot. But when you're in, from Colombia, yeah, and you're you, witness protection, anywhere in the United States is really safe. It's safe for you, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Exactly. You just can't go home. So they think. <laughs> so they think, but so that, that you got uh, being a Colombian under witness protection, it's uh, they got they got more and more and more more choices of how they can move around. You know what I mean? Um, what do you they mean? Can also Who's got get, I don't understand. Who's the, got more The choices? Colombians. The Colombians have more, more. Oh, they're more so they're free. not. Okay. So not like, they're not under, they're, like, for example, Sammy the Bull. No, he, he was, can't, he, he can't do shit. He's got to. He can't do shit. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Uh, Colombians, the Colombians have more, they have anyway. more flexibility. Flexibility gotcha. is, the, is the, is the word. Okay? okay. At the beginning, when they, when the, before all this cooperating stuff started over there, it would be just exactly like the Americans. They would they would send you who the hell no Idaho, some shit like that. You know what I mean? Right. And change your names and all that, but not they 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 become more flexible with, with the Colombians now. Okay. Anyways, these combas, 
were the ones they killed their boss. They did a a, a Gotti. A Gotti. They did, a, uh, they did the same with the bull. Killed. Oh no, they did Gotti. That's right. Sorry, they, did they did a Gotti. They did the Gotti. Since they were the ones that handled all their their the routes, they would handle everything for for Varela. Okay. Right? And Varela was on the run. You know what I'm saying? What they what they went they went to a meeting. Varela didn't didn't get out of the meeting alive, and then they took over the North Valley Cartel. So they killed the boss, just like just like they killed killed Paul Castellano. Exactly. And then these three brothers started dominating everything, and they were. They, they were pretty, and the good thing about them was for years, years, no one, everyone knew about the combas. Everybody knew combas this, and there was three brothers, but they couldn't identify which one was the real comba. Uh-huh. Okay. And the real comba was the, the, the minor, the, the, the youngest one, Luis Enrique. He was the leader of the pack. Okay. And gotcha. they didn't know their faces. No, no they, they were ghosts. You could have them next to you and that you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it was them. Okay, that's that's uh that's how 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 they would move around, okay, and they had offices, they had training camps for for their their missionary for their what do you call them the 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 the, like, the, the, militants. Like the militants yeah yeah okay yeah they were I went to a couple of those training camps because I got a story with with I'm I'm thinking about them because somebody mentioned them in one of the comments if I could talk about them right and right. i have an experience with with one of their their captains lieutenant so i don't know what it was okay when i first got out of prison okay that i got sent over here obviously when you get out of prison you you your your mindset is your your life um stays paused at the moment where you get arrested you know what i'm saying right. but on the outside life goes on right so i get out of prison and i still got in my head some fool that was owing me some money right right so i get over here to colombia and then um uh so and so starts telling me oh you know who's here so and so is here so and so is here and um they they're doing woof they're doing well you know what i'm saying they own clubs they own this and i go oh, really uh -huh. Man, i can get you i can get you in contact with these guys with one of their lieutenants i go okay let's do this you know what i'm saying so I didn't know that things had changed before when I was over here, everybody was loyal. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just got out of prison. You know, I'm short on cash. I'm short on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I put, I put out the, um, the order. I need, I need, uh, I need, I need to cash my check. You know, I'm, I'm owed a check. I need to cash it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they set up the meeting. Okay. Ooh. They set up the meeting with the person that that, uh, that owed me the money. When I walked, they put the meeting at, a, at a, an apartment. I get to the apartment. I'm coming up with a lawyer. <laughs> the lawyer friend of mine that, <laughs> that set up the meeting for me. Just him and I, okay? A I real a lawyer guy. or, or a real, this type yeah, of lawyer? A, no, it's a real lawyer. Okay, but, okay. He, but, but he would handle cases for all these guys. Gotcha. Okay? So it's just the lawyer and I. We walk up the building. All right, and this was in Cali. I, I flew to Cali. When I walk into that apartment, there was like no lie. There was like about fifty motherfuckers in that fucking apartment. I'm like, what the fuck? And there was women, and there, you see some girls there. They're like, Oof. and I, one of them gets up, and you see the with the extended clip, and I'm Holy like, what the shit. Fuck? And then as I walk in, the gentleman is sitting right there. The one that owes me the money. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So we sit down and we start arguing and you owe me this and da da da. We start da da da. What did I what happened? This guy was flowing in cash. You know what I'm saying? This is where I where I say that it's not like it was before. Right. People of their word. You know what I'm saying? I I, I offered them obviously 30% of whatever the collection. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker gave him 50% of, of it and says. Just forget about that. They were supposed to knock me off that day. Wait, I'm lost here. Hold on. So you go into the apartment with the guy that owes you the money. Right. Then okay. with, the, with the guy from the office, they called him and they called me. We got to have a face to face. We got to have a sit down like you guys call it. Okay. Okay. This guy paid them off. Who paid double, who off? Fra practically double of what I had offered them. You feel me? Nope. I'll give an example. He owes me a million dollars. 
Okay, the guy you're meeting with owes you a million bucks. Right. I the guys that are doing the collection for me, I told you I'm going to give you three hundred thousand from the from the to from set the, up the meeting from the set the set up the meeting. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I I'm going to give you three hundred thousand from the from the when I when you I collect my money. Gotcha. He gave them five hundred thousand, and these fuckers turned everything around on me. So he gave them five hundred thousand, and they brought you to him. Exactly. They were supposed what? to knock me off. They were supposed to knock me off that day. What happened? Why didn't he just give you the five hundred thousand? Just wanted to be a. You know what I'm saying? He, just he was upset ready. that I called him in that in that in that in that fashion. That uh -huh. why didn't I call him or not? I like motherfucker. I've left you messages with with your your dead uncle with this. I left you messages everywhere. How much you know did he owe you? He owed me two point something. Two Shut point up. two. That's why you know what I mean. Five hundred thousand. Yeah. No, but I mean uh, that was an example. But uh, you know, uh, right. he gave he gave he actually gave them like about seven seven fifty some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um. He the he paid them off. And they were supposed to knock me off right there. Well, in front of him? Happened? In front and of him? Right there. They, they, no, he was leaving. He left. He left after he goes, no, that about, you know, the guy, the guy that was in charge of the meeting. Yeah. He, he says, well, this thing doesn't have clarity. You know, um, you didn't bring your witnesses and all that. What witnesses? Are we in fucking court or what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he's got, he brought a friend of his that I knew from Mexico also. You know what I'm saying? And then the the guy that I the other guy said, yeah, but that's true. Um, I remember that he left you the money. I don't know. It's bullshit. I got I got arrested. I didn't receive. I never received any fucking money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So what money did you give to who? I wasn't talking to anybody. So he, you know, they they just scammed me. In okay. The whole process. You know what I'm saying? So and then he and then the guy the middle guy. The conciliar is the way that you guys call it, right? Okay. Like the guy, the middle guy. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. He says, well, listen, he brought a, he brought a witness, and you didn't bring any witness and all this, so you know what? This thing has to be squashed right here, and we don't want any more beef. So I go, I'm like, are you fucking serious? And then, then he, he, he gets up right away, and I see that he hands them a shoebox. You know what I'm saying? And then he, the guy opens it. There's fucking pack of money. He goes, and I'll give you the rest tomorrow. And he left. I, my my balls went up to here. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And then what happened? The guys sit, the one, the guy, one of the little young guys, man, little kids. He's like, do you work with so and so and so and so and so and so? Man, I just got out of prison. I don't work with anybody. I told him like that. You know what I'm saying? He saw that I was upset. He says, if I find out that you work with so and so, you ain't leaving from here. I go, you can call whoever the fuck you want. They called over here. Uh, the so and so and so and so. Who do you have? They they said, who do you have? Yeah, you better let that fucker go. <laughs> you better let him go. Oh. You know so he, he bah, all right. You know what I mean? You leave this, squash this, forget about this. This shit is taken care of. Bah, 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 bah. I got up and I left. Believe that shit. That's how twisted these fuckers are over here now. You know what I mean? Before it was, you know. So now, where, where's the guy? He's still around there. He's still around there. He's in uh, he's in Pablo's area. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know, but how I'm, much? You know, how much does he owe you? Two point two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, time will come. Time will come. Every, 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 what, what do they say? Every, every turkey yep. has its, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> every dog has its day. There's something like that. But well, anyways, these guys, the guy that was the middleman for, for this meeting, he used to work for Los Combas. That's that. And one day I'm, I'm in, I'm in watching the news and all this shit. And they, they say his name, boom, arrested. I'm like, Oh fuck. And then the other guy, they used to call him chocolate. Boom! Arrested. All his, all his lieutenants, all everybody from each zone that used to handle his, his, uh, his leaders in each each zone. Yeah. yeah. Arrested. All extradited. You know what I'm saying? And then it comes out in the news. Lu Luis Enrique turned himself in in um in Panama. 
The other one got caught in Quito. The other one got caught over here somewhere. I don't remember where. And they're all they're all in the States. They're out already. Damn. They're well, out you know already. what I say? I say we get about 20 guys. It ain't going to cost a lot of money either. Round that motherfucker up and take him to the mountains. He's uh, he's uh, he's got a line behind him. I mean, it's just well, everyone a, slips. Yeah. Especially he doesn't come he over here, this. though. Huh? He doesn't come. He doesn't come over here. Especially when you got that much power, motherfuckers slip all the time. Ah, yeah. nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. Nothing's gonna happen. Boom, yeah. fucking. He, he doesn't come on this side. He Two point seven. On this side. By now, it's five. Oh, I'm talking about. This was uh, this was in 2011. Some oh, shit like shit. that. It's ten by now. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna the same thing that happened. That it's gonna happen to him. The same thing that happened to the guy that that gave me the land now. Oh yeah, that poor guy. <laughs> okay. Same thing. All You're right. gonna run out of tires, Carlos. Why? <laughs> <laughs> You want to wrap this one up? It's been a yeah. long one. Yeah, yeah. This is a good right, one. Brother. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. All right. All right. Bye bye. bye.